Number 74, a film of soapy water with an index of a fraction of 1.33 on top of a plastic cutting board has a thickness of 233 nanometers. What color is most strongly reflected if it is illuminated perpendicular to its surface? All right, so basically what happens is you have, let's say, a particular wave coming down, okay? Now, the index of refraction here in air is 1, right? It's about like 1.00, blah, 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 but it's close to 1. Then it hits this soapy water kind of thing, and the index of refraction there is going to be about 1.33, all right? And when this wave then gets sent back and reflected, let's say your eye is... You know, up here. Um, when it gets sent back and reflect, oh, oh, that looks weird with one eye. That looks better. Now that's a unibrow. So what we realize now is that when the ray here gets reflected, it experiences a half of phase change. All right. So this reflected ray experiences a half of a phase change. Okay. So we will write then half. Then this ray will be refracted. Okay, it'll travel through now the water, but it will hit the second boundary, and this is plastic. The water, the uh, light is not going to travel through plastic. Obviously, this has some index of refraction of you know whatever the case is. Well, I, I don't even know higher than one point three three. All right. Now what that means is that this will then refract, or excuse me, reflect with another half of a wavelength change. Let's just assume there's about one point five. Anytime the light re is reflected from a low index of refraction, and I'll say it was this is then a higher index of refraction, meaning the boundary here, the light was coming from a low and entering the high, it's always a half a phase change, okay? Now, or phase shift, you can call it, whatever the heck you want to call it. Now, when this uh, ray is then reflected, it experiences another half of a uh, phase shift. So, if it experiences a half here and a half here, uh, right, isn't that a full shift? So basically now what we need to do is we need to look at this formula down here and we have to realize that two times the thickness of the soap bubble, okay, will equal then, now here's the thing, lambda n over two. In other words, you basically have like two phase changes here. So you can, you can think about this in a couple of ways. You can add them together if you want, right? Lambda n over two, because you had two phase changes there. So this would then be, you know, if you wanted to do it that way, it doesn't really make a difference. But two times in the thickness of the uh, soap will equal then, this basically is now lambda n, right? Or the wavelength in the soapy water. To find the wavelength in the soapy water, just plug in the thickness now. The thickness was 233 nanometers. Now then this is the wavelength in the soap, right? Two times 233. And that works out to be about 466, all right, 466 nanometers. That's the wavelength of the light in the soap. But we don't, but that's not what your eye is seeing. What your eye is going to see, it's going to see the reflected rays, but in air, right? Because they're traveling back to your eyeball in air. So we need now this formula that the, it's over here on the upper right. The wavelength in a particular medium is equal to the wavelength in a vacuum. Now, we're going to assume that the index of refraction of air up there is the same as that of, vacu of a vacuum, divided then by the index of refraction of the material that the wavelength of which we're calculating, or we have. In this case, we're not calculating, but we have it. So to find then the wavelength in air, which is basically going to be the wavelength you're going to see, it's just simply then the wavelength in the particular soap medium multiplied by that index of refraction, that becomes 466 multiplied by 1.33. And let's see what we get. So we get 620, it looks like, about 600, 620 nanometers. And that is about orange light, all right? Guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope that helped. Give us a hand, subscribe, like, tell your friends. We'll see you soon, bye.